this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Scorpion Sun Moon Horizon. It is the first week of October, of November 2017, and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, it's going to be a wonderful week, especially for the people who um, birthday falls on Halloween. This is going to be fantastic. This is actually a lucky year for all the people whose birthday fall on Halloween. But okay, let's go in reading and see what's happening because this week is the week of the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Wheel of Fortune, we have the energy, the zodiac energy of water. So there's a lot of emotion, but positive um, stuff is coming out here. As I look at your energy, and I want to say and apologize to everyone who has asked me for reading um, because I have been busy the last time and uh, I have been behind. So, your reading is going to be delivered, but it's going to be later than um, what I've asked for because I've asked for 72 hours, but there is so much going on and I have so much readings to get off. So, I want to say thank you for your support, your likes, and shares. I'm sorry for the delay but it, I am the only one that is doing these readings and there are so many readings coming up so um, please bear with me um, it's gonna be wonderful um, let me look because this week is the week of the wheel of fortune it's gonna be a positive week what is here we have the ace of one which is very good it's a fire sign you guys have the page of one so there is a message that is about to come in to you guys and we um, whenever the page of one comes up it's always uh, you know good messages um, the pages the ones it's all about um, business and that sort of a thing and uh, you know whenever the pages come up they're always the messengers they're the one who brings uh, the message to you so whatever is going on in your life at this moment do not take it so seriously um, just understand that uh, um, things are happening for a reason so whenever we come up you know the pages are always uh, messengers these are um, and the, most of the time it's message about your work or message about some business endeavor if you have none of the above uh, then it is a good message that is coming out it can be a message from a child that is bringing and it's always youthful and it has an eye energy vibration and energy vibration of good integrity and a need for growth okay this is a little charming doesn't really mean you know this it, it can be heralding information and growth in certain situations in your life okay the ace of cups is always about love we all all know that so a new beginning and love is coming into your life we have the king of swords so you have a situation with the king of swords whoever that is we're going to see whoever that king of sword is so you are going to have a situation with him this king of swords and then we have the nine of wands the nine of wands is very positive because whatever is happening you're protected by your angels and guides so then we have the king of um, hazard the king of has the knight of hazard knight of hazard is the knight of pentacles okay so we have water 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 which is good Monday and Tuesday is going to be a very good day the middle of the week is going to be a little rocky because of this person who is a soul sign and then we have the nine of wands and letting you know that you're protective we have the ten of cups on Saturday which is a wonderful wonderful experience and this is going to be extremely um, perfect for you whatever the situation that is happening for you it's going to be good whatever um, that has happened in the past um, good news so whatever the page this little messenger is bringing it's going to be good news it's going to be glory the six of one so this little person this young energy this messenger is bringing um, uh, good news good news and this is uh, the six of one is always uh, extremely extremely positive so um, you need to look out for this message this is going to be a good week whatever is happening it's going to be a good week because I'm seeing here 
on Monday you have the energy vibration of also the ace of one so you have a new beginning and you're victorious and successful over this new beginning whatever it is it is because uh, um, the page brought to the news of a glory um, something that you have overcome the obstacles that you have overcome a glory and the page of ones is here and what is happening is that you also have a victory and success with a page of one so you know this is wonderful whatever way you look at it it's going to be a very positive and a wonderful week because whenever we have the six of ones the six of ones is always positive news um, coming in and it's powerful news it's you know and the sixes is always um, triumphant and you also have the char the chariot which is triumphant so for a lot of people you will be moving out of different situation and into something much better there's going to be a new beginning and there is going to be positive energy because you have the energy of the ace of cups the ace of cups whoever the queen of sword is there is love she cares about you um, I'm not really feeling it for her, for you, but uh, I, 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 again, this, this woman, this, no, 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 no. Um, please, um, it's, it's Halloween and this woman is going to, um, want to, you know, communicate with you and want to be with you on Halloween. And she's going to pretend and she's going to want to weave you again in her little um, web. Do not do it. Release this woman, okay? Release this woman. Whatever she's coming with, new love or whatever, whatever this woman is coming with on Halloween, okay? Release her because this is not the right person for you, okay? It's, 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 it's just not the right person for you. I'm sorry. And I'm going to look at this because this has been coming up in so many readings. Um, the queen of sword person is not a good person. She's pretending and, um, just, you know, just leave it. No, you're going to get a message from her. Um, yeah. I can't change anything I can't change anything I honestly can't change anything but um and I don't wish to change anything everything goes with divine timing but you're going to get a message is on its way to you and it's a positive message from this Queen of Swords woman whoever she is okay so um, I you know whatever the situation is I'm not feeling very good with this woman and with a water sign person especially I've been seeing that these things are coming up and it's not the best of situation that you both are going through because this woman is not being positive okay and because this woman is not being positive and this woman is using um, a, a manipulating energies so that she can acquire your love um, Um, you know, uh, um, you know, you need to understand and you need to realize that, you know, I can't change what is going to happen and it depends on who you are. Some of you maybe could be with someone who is very, um, honest and very nice because, um, I can get along with Aquarians and the Gemini's and the Libras, especially the Gemini's. I like them, even though they carry two characteristic. I like them and I can get along with them. I can get along with just about anyone, but that woman, there is someone who's um, watching these videos because the message is coming out for you. And so how come your spirit guides are really sending this message and asking me to give this message out? Okay, um, as we look at the middle of the week and the center of the week, the crowning of your week, you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is not really. Um, uh, you have the King of Swords and the Princess of One. The King of Swords and the Princess of One. Okay, you are a water sign. Okay, and maybe um, some of you men are involved with this. Um, princess of Wands. This is the best relationship for you. Okay release yourself of this person who is 
um, an air sign because water and hair doesn't go so well. It's always water and fire, you know, the, because one can quench the other. Okay. So whoever this person is, she has someone else who is, um, the king of sword, but this person is in love with you. She's always, she has always been in love with you, this fire sign person. So this could be an Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius she has always been in love with you and um, you need to understand even though she's um, with someone her heart is for you yes it is <laughs> on Thursday you have the energy vibration of the nine of ones and whatever is happening um, the universal angels your guardian angels are watching over this relationship okay so um, it's as if you you're really in love with someone else and the person maybe is married or um, a person is not capable of being with you at this moment because maybe they're in a relationship or whatsoever but the love that you both share is very strong and it's as if the universe is still protecting this love until whatever um, or whenever um, this ends um, then the universe is going to bring in this person back to you okay so the person the the air sign person is not the person for you um the the princess of ones is the person for you which princess of one is an aries leo or sagittarius okay as we move forward on friday we have the energy vibration of the um knight of hazard that is the knight of pentacles and the ace of a sword so whatever the situation is of was and you had a situation with it with um, someone that was a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn a man you are going to win this situation because you offer um, you know hold the sword up and you cut left to right and you remove the obstacles that was blocking you and that was affecting your life so the ace of swords so you have justify over this person so whoever this person is, is someone between the ages of 18 and 35 and 40 could be 18 from 18 and 35 or 40 and whoever this person was and your woman you could stand your ground with this person and use your a uh, sword of truth which is uh, your um, throat chakra to tell this person how it sit and this is good as we move on we have the ten of cups and this is going to be on Saturday so Saturday um, Monday Tuesday Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday is going to be your best, best day. Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday is going to be your best day. The number one energies is new beginnings, new beginning in your financial situation, new beginning with family, new beginnings, just wonderful new beginnings are coming in. On Saturday, you're going to have a wonderful connection with someone who is the Queen of Pentacles. This is an older person, so it could be your mom, because I'm seeing the mother and the children. So you're going to connect to if you are a scorpion who your mother is um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you're going to have a very strong deep connection with your mother it's like rebirth and coming back together it doesn't really matter how old you are but your mom is uh, um, the most important um, thing to you at this moment um, you know because there is a, the return of your mom whatever the situation was maybe she was ill and maybe she was um, living somewhere else um, maybe she was out of your life for a time maybe there was you know an argument or whatever but your mom is back and you are going to connect with her on Saturday and this is going to be so wonderful okay as we move forward we are looking at Sunday and Sunday we have a judgment but it's good judgment because you have the ace of Pentacles so whatever the situation is whatever the judgment is that money is going to be coming to you and this is going to be good because whatever had taken place and whatever financial help you need this help is going to come in on Sunday so overall your week is a very promising week your week is a week of positive messages is on the way to you good connections you have 
overcome a situation you're victorious over a situation you're moving away on Tuesday Halloween if it's your birthday and you're watching this reading it's going to be wonderful someone is going to come in your life maybe some of you have already um, I've already a connection with this person but this person is going to come in your life and um, what is going to happen is that you're going to have a positive good connection with this person so whoever this person is uh, um, good news is coming from them and they are showing you as if they you know they really want to be with you the right person for you if you're looking for a relationship is a fire sign person and Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so as we look at the first half of the week it's a lot of good news victory and success on Saturday you're going to connect with your mother if your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there is going to be an, a new connection it's like a rebirth it's like um, you two are going to come back together as it's supposed to be and um, it's as if you two were separated for a very long time and you're going to connect with your mom on Saturday you are going to feel this love for your mom and your mom is going to return the same love it's as if something had happened between you two and now you're seeing something for what it is and you realize that your mom is really has really come back for you whatever if she was sick or whatever it is or if she was away from you or you two were separated from birth that sort of a thing it's a connection so let's say you know they you were adopted and you were separated from your mom now you're going to come back together be careful um i'm seeing um be careful i'm seeing the energy of uh, you know i'm um, stealing this can be stealing or this can be your energy is um you know because uh, people can be in your house or apartment and let's say you have a relationship with someone because this is what i'm feeling and the, this card came up there's something about your house and if someone had um um if someone had entrance to your house let's say a key let's say you had a girlfriend and you had a relationship she is still using her key and come in your house so be aware of this and I want people out there to be aware of this because someone is entering your house okay because I can feel it when when um, people my house was broken in and I felt the energy every time I came in my house that someone else was there okay so whatever is happening if you have ended a relationship with someone make sure that you um, change the locks on your door and get the keys because someone is entering into your um, in, into your house okay because I can I can walk in my house whenever I've lived there for a time with my own energy vibration and feel that someone else was there and especially negative energies especially people who hates you especially people who because if somebody doesn't like you and they come in your house they leave that negative energies behind okay because everybody um, carries a certain sort of energy and this is what is happening and is taking place so be aware that whoever you broke up with this person still has a key um, for your house and it's going to your house when you're not there so be aware of this okay so um, that was a message that I needed to give but it, it doesn't really matter what is happening if you're having a situation with someone a man who is um, who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you need to know that you're going to win whatever is happening okay and you need to know that whatever there is someone out there you are a, a scorpion man or woman who is or you have known someone who was a Aries Leo or a Virgo for a very long time and this relationship that is happening is that changes are coming um, because it's as if this person is with someone else and realize you know this is this this is not what I thought it would be like and then they start to realize a lot of stuff money is going to come to you 
all you have is new beginnings you have the ace of wands you have the ace of swords you have the ace of pentacles um this is good it's all about new beginning with relationship new beginning with love new beginning that you are going to be connecting with so many people and it's going to be good okay um please remember to be aware that someone is coming in your house it could be my house too <laughs> But the, the energy is showing up here, something with a house, and someone is, you know, using your keys and coming in your house, okay? You can always feel the energy when someone is there. Individuality. You need to find your own individuality, okay? Whoever you are out there, you need to remember who you are and find your own individuality, this is very important. I always do that. I, I'm always, I never follow. I never, I, I have my own individuality. I'm the trendsetter. I like to be the trendsetter and find my own individuality. Um, no two snowflakes, snowflakes can be the same. Just as you are special and unique too. This is something to celebrate. I have marked one young um, in a way that is unique, setting her apart from the other. Choosing her symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your, your unique qualities. It also reminds you not to compare yourself with others. This is a fertile um, experience because no one is the same. No one's beauty um, a beauty is greater or less than another. And this is what I've always said to people because a lot of people said, Oh, you're so beautiful. And I'm saying, yes, but what is outside? We, you know, I like, I prefer if people see me for, um, who I have as, as an individual and not for how I look. And that was one of the reasons that I found it very hard to do the videos with my face because I always use the cards because I wanted people to listen to my voice and listen to what I have to say and not the way I look. So, you know, that is maybe it's a form of, um, and it was a self doubt or anything like that. It's just that I think, um, the universe or, um, the source gave me, um, this look because he wanted me um, to heal the world with my voice and not with how I look okay so each and every person must try and find their individuality others may seem so uh, seem happy doing things a certain way but if you feel as if you are comparing yourself to fit in don't People will love you for who you are, not someone who you're trying to be. Your task here is to only be yourself. This is a powerful sign. So this is wonderful. I guess I got something from that too. Um, because... I always try to just be myself and <laughs> I remember like, um, you know, people say, are you really always like that? And I said, what you see is what you get. Cause I try to be, be myself. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm not perfect. I'll never be perfect. Um, but I think we should love each other and love, um, love ourselves when we love ourselves and uh, then we can love others. And that is the most beautiful thing. Okay, I never think, and we should never think that we're better than anyone. But I, but think of it in this way: you're not better than anyone, but yet still you know what vibrates with you. Who people? Because whenever you meet people, you know definitely right away. You know this is someone I would like to be around, or this is someone I really don't want to be around. Okay. Um, the last card, the note from the universe, it said, do well to people have to spend money on oh, this came up for someone and no, they don't, they don't even have to spend a cent, do they? No, they don't. Okay. So B, I need to say this again. I don't know what's happening out there for you, Scorpion. Maybe it's me cause I just moved in this house. Maybe someone was here. So, um, but it is 
um, something is happening someone broke up or you're not seeing someone anymore and that person is is going to your house when you're at work so be aware of this because uh, this is happening um, you know make sure that you change the locks on your door um, to be okay all right because for me I think uh, people don't have respect when they do things like those okay I mean if you're going to really go in someone else when they're not there obviously you're sick okay because no one has the right to um, to invade in, in in people's privacy okay and it doesn't really matter what you're doing but um, I think if a relationship has ended give the person their key back and leave them in peace because it has ended okay namaste wishing you a lot of luck make sure you protect yourself and your house